The C5 Galaxy and the C-17 Globemaster III are two of the largest and most advanced military transport aircraft in the world, operated by the United States Air Force. While both aircraft share some similarities, they have distinct differences in terms of design, capabilities, and mission requirements. The C-5 Galaxy, developed by Lockheed Skunk Works, first flew in 1968 and entered service in 1970. It is a high-wing, T-tail aircraft with a swing-tail design allowing for easier loading and unloading of cargo. The C-5 measures 247 feet 10 inches, which is about 75.53 meters in length, with a wingspan of 222 feet 9 inches, that is 67.89 meters, and a height of 65 feet 1 inch, which is 19.81 meters. The C-17 Globemaster III, developed by McDonnell Douglas, now Boeing, first flew in 1991 and entered service in 1995. It is a high-wing T-tail aircraft with a rear cargo door and a mid-fuselage cargo bay. The C-17 measures 53 meters in length, with a wingspan of 51.75 meters and a height of 16.79 meters. The C-5 Galaxy has a maximum payload capacity of 281,000 pounds, which is 127,500 kilograms, while the C-17 Globemaster III has a maximum payload capacity of 170,900 pounds, which translates to 77,500 kilograms. However, the C-17 has a more efficient cargo layout and can carry more cargo in terms of volume with a maximum cargo volume of 18,000 cubic feet, that is 510 cubic meters compared to the C-5's 13,100 cubic feet, which is about 371 cubic meters. The C-5 Galaxy has a maximum range of approximately 5,556 kilometers with a full payload, while the C-17 Globemaster III has a maximum range of approximately 4,444 kilometers with a full payload. However, the C-17 has a shorter takeoff and landing Estaol, capability, allowing it to operate from smaller airfields and unprepared runways. The C-17 also has a higher service ceiling, with a maximum altitude of 45,000 feet, which is 13,716 meters, compared to the C-5's 38,000 feet, which translates to 11,582 meters. The C-5 Galaxy is powered by four General Electric TF-39 GE-1C turbofan engines, each producing 43,000 pounds force, that is 191 kilonewtons of thrust. The C-17 Globemaster III is powered by four Pratt & Whitney F-117 PW-100 turbofan engines, each producing 40,400 pounds force, which is 179 kilonewtons of thrust. The C-5 Galaxy was designed to transport large, outsized cargo, such as main battle tanks, helicopters, and other heavy equipment, over long distances. It is often used for strategic airlift missions, transporting cargo between continents, and supporting global military operations. The C-17 Globemaster III, on the other hand, was designed to provide tactical airlift capabilities, supporting combat operations and humanitarian missions. It is often used for airlifting troops, equipment and supplies into and out of contingency areas, and has played a crucial role in supporting military operations in Iraq, Afghanistan and other conflict zones. The C-5 Galaxy program has been one of the most expensive military aircraft programs in history, with a total cost of over $50 billion. The C-5A model, which was the initial production variant, cost approximately $100 million per aircraft. The C-17 Globemaster III program, on the other hand, has a total cost of approximately $30 billion, with a unit cost of around $200 million per aircraft. Both aircraft have undergone significant upgrades and modernization programs over the years. The C-5 Galaxy has undergone several upgrades, including the Reliability Enhancement and Re-Engining Program, RERP, which replaced the original engines with more efficient and reliable ones. The C-17 Globemaster III has also undergone upgrades, including the Block 17 upgrade, which improved the aircraft's electronics and avionics systems. In summary, while both the C-5 Galaxy and the C-17 Globemaster III are large and advanced military transport aircraft, they have distinct differences in terms of design, capabilities and mission requirements. The C-5 Galaxy is optimized for strategic airlift missions, with a focus on transporting large outsized cargo over long distances. The C-17 Globemaster III, on the other hand, is optimized for tactical airlift missions, 
with a focus on supporting combat operations and humanitarian missions. Despite their differences, both aircraft play critical roles in supporting global military operations and have been essential to the success of US military forces around the world. Here is a summary of the key differences between the C-5 Galaxy and the C-17 Globemaster III. Length, C-5, 247 feet, 10 inches, 75.53 meters. C-17, 174 feet, 53 meters. Wingspan, C-5, 222 feet, 9 inches, 67.89 meters. C-17, 169 feet, 10 inches, 51.75 meters. Payload capacity, C-5, 281,000 pounds, 127,500 kilograms. C-17, 170,900 pounds, 77,500 kilograms. Range, C-5, 3,000 nautical miles, 5,556 kilometers. C-17, 2,400 nautical miles, 4,444 kilometers. Service ceiling, C-5, 38,000 feet, 11,582 meters. C-17, 45,000 feet, 13,716 meters. Engines, C-5, 4X General Electric, TF-39 GE-1, C, C-17, 4X Pratt & Whitney, F-117, PW-100 Mission Requirements, C-5, Strategic Airlift, C-17, Tactical Airlift, Cost, C-5, $50 billion Program Cost, C-17, $30 billion Program Cost, Unit Cost, C-5, $100 million, C-17, $200 million. Note, the specifications and costs listed above are approximate and may vary depending on the source and specific variant of the aircraft. The United States primarily used military transport aircraft, notably the C-17 Globemaster III, during the Afghanistan evacuation, known as Operation Allies Refuge. To handle the large number of evacuees, the Biden administration also activated the Civil Reserve Air Fleet, CRF, which enlisted commercial airliners. Military Aircraft the U.S. Air Force relied on its fleet of heavy lift transport planes for the chaotic airlift out of Hamid Karzai International Airport in Kabul. C-17 Globemaster III The C-17 was the workhorse of the evacuation, with roughly half of the Air Force's fleet committed to the operation. One C-17 famously carried approximately 640 Afghan civilians out of Kabul on a single flight. The final U.S. military flight to depart Afghanistan was a C-17 on August 30, 2021. C-5 M Super Galaxy As a strategic transport aircraft, the C-5 also helped transport large amounts of cargo and personnel. C-130 Hercules The C-130 was utilized for its tactical airlift capabilities. Air Refueling Aircraft The Air Force also used KC-135 Strato Tankers, KC-10 Extenders and KC-46 Pegasus aircraft to support the round-the-clock airlift. Helicopters CH-47 Chinook and UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters were used for shorter-range transports, such as moving personnel between the U.S. Embassy and the airport. Civilian Aircraft Civil Reserve Air Fleet The CRAF activation directed civilian airliners to assist in moving evacuees from temporary safe havens, like bases in the Middle East and Europe, to their final destinations, freeing up military planes to focus on flights in and out of Kabul. Participating airlines included American Airlines, Atlas Air, Delta Airlines, Omni Air, Hawaiian Airlines, and United Airlines. These commercial flights did not operate directly into Kabul, 